And also about 30 civil society organizations have served a five-day ultimatum on the Minister of Women Affairs and Minister of Education. It's for them to take concrete action in fishing out the person who raped 14-year-old Karen Hapuch Andodo Akbaga. She was a boarding student of Premier Academy Lugbe Abuja. The convener of the Media Health and Rights Initiative spoke at a press conference in Abuja. She said the silence of relevant authorities was condemnable. This selective approach to ensuring that justice is done is distasteful and we have said that we will not keep quiet because it amounts to high-level hypocrisy. It reeks of hypocrisy from the pit of hell when you would say you are big on children, you are big on women, and a child dies in the FCT based on rape, allegedly in a school. And we are saying the Minister of um, Education also, Malam Adamu Adamu, he has a responsibility that all educational institutions must be kept safe. They have shown favoritism towards the uh, Premier Academy, Lube, where my daughter was molested and um, that led to her death. So in that time, uh, the hospital where she died issued a medical report and uh, where her autopsy was carried out, um, the pathologist also issued an autopsy report to the police. The police had uh, given out the same reports to the school. They had refused to allow us access to those reports. Four months after we have submitted another letter to the ministries of Women Affairs and Education to say we are not happy with the way they are handling it, if they are handling it, or to update us on where they are. And we're giving them an ultimatum. We're going to show you copies and evidences of this email, of this letter that has been taken to the ministries. If we do not hear from them, we would be doing a nationwide protest.